Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm back here with another video, a different type of video. Today, what we're going to be working on is these lamps here. Um, as you can see right here, I've done splicing and dice uh, into some wires and stuff like that. The reason why is because I needed better lighting. Second of all, these right here are um, LED lights. I forget how to, how many lumens these are, but these right here are made by Westinghouse. My plan is, it's gonna be mounted up on the wall, something like that right there. I wanna try to make some type of special bracket, uh, something out of this aluminum flat bar right here. I'm taking over his video for a second. He doesn't want it like this. If he puts it just like this on the wall, all it can do is like go up and down. Whereas uh, he wants it to where it can go side to side and up and down. So he's going to rig something up to where it can go like that, basically. Am I right? Yeah, and with that right there, uh, I know I've already said this. I'm kind of repeat myself. But this right here is a uh, aluminum flat bar. And I thought I had some uh, steel flat bar. That's what that is right there. You know, I, I just need something, you know, up here where, you know, like where I'm working or whatever. I need to have something where I, I can see, you know, as like I'm, you know, working and stuff. Like on my workshop table here and all that. I've already showed y'all the um, outlets right down there. I got me like some little trays down here. One down there and one right down there. That right there is, you know, for housing like little wires and this and that and the third. So anyway, let's see what we can make happen. Got the wires spliced and nice. Right now I'm gonna just go ahead and on twist these here on up real nice. As you see, there's no uh, light or whatever. That's because it has a on off switch right here. And there is lights. Oh, that's bright as hell. So yeah, there we have that there. I'll give y'all like a little demonstration here. This right here is with the light. That's without. Again, these right here are the Western House LEDs. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're doing. Uh, All right, so uh, here we are in the shop here. Uh, I don't have on my GoPro harness. Well, actually, I do have the motherfucker on, but yeah, just got tired of it. But anyway, we got the light mounted. We got it mounted up right here. So what I had to do was, is I had to take, and I had to, um, <clears throat> I had it screws right down uh, here. And anyway, I had to take this cable here, this cord here for the light. And anyway, I had to run it up under here. Then I took and I, well, this motherfucker, he actually- uh, Psycho stat. Yeah, he, he, he drilled the hole cause I'm too goddamn fat to get uh, up under here, but yeah. We got the hole right there. You know, this right here is gonna be for like cable management and stuff like that. Yeah, this motherfucker here is a beast. All right guys, and then while he was working on his shit over there, I went ahead and took the old um, cord because we needed a mail in to plug in. So I cut that, I wired it up to the light and then I wired it up to the old mail in. And we're about to see if it has any power. I got the power. Or is that how it goes? I got the power. Alright. Hey. Hey. Your boy can rig some wire. And this one ain't actually flickering. That one's flickering over there. Do it again. Uh, turn it on and turn it off. I want them to see the whip. I smoke 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 the whip. I
it's the next day i've actually uh came up with a different idea here and yeah i got this spotlight up here i believe i showed y'all that uh yesterday this right here is uh basically what i had came up with so i came up with this idea right here two by four this part right here is going to mount to the wall part right here something like that i was saying that <clears throat> i wanted this right here to move up and down and articulate and stuff like that i got it to articulate and also it moves up and down freely and also it works there you have that right there let's take a little bit of light off of the subject here just like a little press button back here i'm going to drill a hole so like right here All right, so I finally got the lights put up and still working on a little bit of cable management and everything. I just been really tired here, but I'm gonna show y'all right now what I have cooked up. I got the light mounted right there like that. I made like a little uh, mount, if you would, right there. Right now I got the cord just, you know, it's just kind of going you know everywhere i'm still working on that got this right here all this right here uh is homemade i took three screws and i mounted that right up there like that i've done the same thing to this right over here i drilled a hole right here for some cable management kind of right behind my shelf right there I guess, uh, let's see how this right here looks with the lights turned on. I know it looks kind of yellow. All right, do it something like that there. And then I have these LEDs up here. I'm probably gonna wound up uh, replacing these lights here with some soft white. And this right here is what it looks like with the lights off these are led bulbs and yes these right here are leds i don't want you know these lights right here to actually you know cause my video to look yellow or have like a tint i want to see maybe if i can find like a uv filter or something like that um i'm gonna see if i can find something like that online all right so right now i'm gonna show y'all again what it looks like with the lights on. Please tell me what you think about uh, my lights. Do they suck? Uh, do you think this right here uh, interferes with this here? I can always turn this light off like this. Voila. How does that look? Does these lights right here interfere? Oh, it looks like maybe I need a haircut. I need a shave. I need a bath. So, Go and go ahead. We're gonna wrap this video on up. Peace out. I'm Mr. Whitezilla. That's it.